Hmm. So I wonder what the priest will have to say to us. Churchill, um... Stay there. Don't attempt to, um... Climb up here. Bishop Whaler. Ah, a defender of the downtrodden. Oh, he's a ghoul. Greetings. I was told you were helping Rambo and the guards defeat those hooligans. Um. Yes, we make a good team. Indeed. Your talents have been noted. Anyhow, I heard you were looking for someone. I'm looking for a ghoul named Lazarus. Did he make it to Sanctuary? Ah, uh, he did. Lazarus came back from some expedition recently. I heard he was quite shook up about it. Something must have gone wrong. You see, for a long time he was a devoted friend of Sanctuary. Since its very foundation, Lazarus was by my side in recent years. I don't know. Something must have happened. Disillusioned, perhaps. Mm. He disappeared again a few days ago. Only the Lord knows where. Hmm. What's his story? He was an architect before the bombs fell. Oh. We met shortly after. He helped prepare this place. Lazarus was as loyal to Sanctuary as they come. And then, through time, he changed. Why would he be disillusioned? Boredom. Greed. Who knows? It's no secret he had his eyes on Westminster. Not much is known about the place. Only rumours. It's some kind of Eden. Oh. But he'd need money. Lots of it. Something in short supply out here. Oh, um, that must have been the Monument Expedition. It was a massacre. Massacre? At the Monument? There's no way. It's so close. Even we had no idea. He should have warned us. Thanks for bringing the word. I'll notify patrols. Can anyone help me find him? Father Luke was investigating his activities here at Sanctuary. He'll know far more than I do. I haven't spoken to Lazarus in years. Even so, I'll pray for his well-being. Now, the matter of your pay. Mm. Let's say 200 tickets. Hmm. Sounds good. Here you go. Thank you. If you have any questions about Sanctuary, feel free to ask them. If not, know that we are grateful. Well, oh, Churchill found something. Uh, all right, Churchill. Oh, g um, just, just, just go there a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm coming down. Can I? There. All right. So, what did you find, Churchill? Anything or nothing? Um, Kensington. Flyboys. What? Oh, but did I just buy cigarettes? I didn't want cigarettes, Churchill, but never mind, whatever. Maybe we can sell them on to somebody. Um, Secretary, hello. Ah, here you are. Father Luke. Welcome, child. Sanctuary is open to you. Well, thank you. Um, And who are you? I'm Father Luke. I take care of the quarters. I also sew and cook. Here at St. Paul's, we must all bear many titles. <laughs> uh, Bishop Whaler told me you were investigating Lazarus. Ah, is that so? But investigating is such a nasty word. Not really. I was merely doing what had to be done. Bishop Whaler's a kind and patient man. People like to take advantage of that. Lazarus was one such person. Oh. If you ask me, he's nothing more than a smuggler peddling his filth to the residents of Sanctuary. Oh, um, How do you know that? I have two working eyes and ears. That's all I need. Oh, she's pretty blatant. Lazarus had only one thing on his mind. His never-ending greed. 
cigarettes, chems, hollow nasties. He had no boundaries. I, for one, am glad he's gone. Um, hmm. Do you have any evidence? I just know, all right? So you don't Fine. have any evidence? I don't have any ironclad evidence, just rumours. So what? That doesn't matter now. Lazarus is gone. Then again, if one were to peruse through his belongings, they might find a clue as to where he went, as well as that much-needed evidence. Um. Sounds like a good idea. Where can I find his stuff? Fourth bed from the left. <clears throat> now go, with many blessings. Fourth bed from the left, eh? Well, all right. This feels a little bit weird, given that we don't actually know this this man. But well, in here. Oh, okay. What's this? Customers. Three bottles of Wonderland. Ninety tickets for bones. Two vials of Carmex, 60 tickets for Idol. Bag of Hypo, 70 tickets for Jonesy. Um. Alright. Well. Is that it? An aluminium can. Um. Well. A TV. Don't think it works though. Guessing that's what we, we have to take then. Okay. Is that all the... Oh, no. Tickets, flame of fuel. Clean grey suit. Ah. No. All right, Churchill. Um, Come on. Let's return to the... Uh, the man himself over here. Say, so, hey, we found out. He's got customers. You look like you have good news. What have you found? Um... I found this note. Do you know any of the names? Aha! Uh -huh. I knew he was selling chems. The good Lord always provides. With this, Lazarus will be banished for certain. I only wish I knew the true names of these clients. These poor people need help. Um. <laughs> Don't you feel bad for him? Why should I? Many vulnerable people come to us when they have nowhere else to go. He abused that. Ah, look. This name, Bones. It's clearly a code name, possibly referring to someone within Sanctuary. Oh. Maybe it's the chef. After all, he works with Bones. Perhaps it's the Undertaker. No more appropriate code name for one. Then True. Again, it could be the Frenchman. He used to be a mercenary. I call upon you once more. Find this bones, and you will find Lazarus. And I will get a chance to rid Sanctuary of these chems. How oh, very, um, kind of you, I'm sure. Um, what do you have against him? I've seen chems destroy even the most innocent of souls. I do not wish to see that happen here as well. You would understand if you'd seen the things I've seen. Addiction can truly change a man. I'll be on my You're way doing then. the Lord's work. Thank you. I don't think I'm doing the Lord's work. I think you're just getting me to do the dirty work for you. Okay, so this is the chef. Quite a quite a tidy kitchen, actually. I mean, aside from all the glasses, but okay. Chef Ramsgate. What do you want? Whoa! Um You don't need to yell. I'm not yelling! I'm half mute, so oh. I have to talk like this. Well, you don't. That's not how that works. What do you say? I'm also half deaf. Oh, Lord. Um, were you buying chems under the fake name Bones? What? Chems? Why would I do that? Well, I don't know. See you around. Bones. Carry on. Carry on, sir. Good Lord. So. Aha. Can we... Oh. It's a little dark out here. Um, grave digger. Mm. Hello. Um, 
Were you buying chems under the fake name Bones? Not me, the boy. Boy's got problems. The boy. Boy's a lot of those. Can't say more. He's near. You guess. The your assistant? Yeah. Right. Okay. I mean, the way he's hammering that, it looks like he's on something. Good lord. Calm down, lad. Christopher. Can I help you? Yes. Um. I know about the chems, Christopher. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Don't lie. Christopher, trust me. I can keep your secret. You promise? Yeah, huh? Oh, God. I didn't... I didn't mean to... to buy so many. I just couldn't sleep. Oh. Kept seeing the c corpses. Those... those eyes. Watching me. I prayed, but... the eyes didn't go away. Oh. Lazarus saw me. He knew I was suffering. Offered me some to help, and I... I couldn't stop. It's the only way I could sleep. Hmm. It's okay, I don't blame you. I just want to know where Lazarus is. I don't know where he is. He disappeared again. And pretty soon I'll be out of Wonderland. You hmm. know what? It's for the best. Here. My last dose. T t take it. Please. Is Wonderland its special? got a weird smell. Reverend Francis might know. He's the resident bookworm. Yeah. All right, Churchill, what did you find? I know, I'm coming. Show me. If this is more cigarettes, I don't want them. I don't want leeches. But, well done. Um, Alright. So we need to go and speak to Reverend... Is it Reverend? Let's have a look. Mm. Reverend Francis. Oh, we need to speak to Gaunt as well. Well, He's miles away. And we'll talk to him another time. Okay, Reverend Francis. What, what are you... Are you just having a little dance? All right. You're the one who helped us defend Sanctuary, aren't you? Yeah. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Reverend Francis. Very good. Um, what can you tell me about Lazarus? He was a friend, yes. Then, one day, I looked deep into his eyes and saw nothing but the glint of gold. I truly pray that one day he can free himself from the demon that has taken a hold of his soul. Oh. Um... Can you tell me if you recognise this smell? If you're trying to rid yourself of your addiction, we can help you, child. But until then... <laughs> hmm, strange. This smells of cheeseweed. A cheese very weed. peculiar flower. We have a small patch of them at the back of the sanctuary gardens. Oh. I'll dispose of this and ask no more. I do not wish to meddle in the lives of my brothers and sisters. Good luck. Okay. Hmm. So he's got a stash, has he? Let's go and have a little sniff around. Churchill, you could sniff things out. Hey! we got some of those Brahmin things. With a stamp on. Good grief. Okay, what am I stuck on? There we go. All right. Hmm. It all seems a little bit judgmental, doesn't it? If, if... That guy, well, he must have been telling the truth. If he couldn't sleep, Lazarus probably was trying to do him a favour, help him out. Help him get some sleep. Oh, hello! The horse things. Here we go. What's this? Cheese weed. Oh, okay. To, aha! Letter to Lazarus. Here we go. Lazarus, we're interested on your insider information. Meet us at Beefeater Burger in the Tower Hamlets. Don't rile up any fifth columnists on your way here. Your word better be good. 
All right. Well, uh, I'm not going to take any of his meds or beer because it's just more stuff for us to carry that we don't need the weight of. Churchill, we don't need need the weight of. Um, didn't realise I walked on somebody's grave. So, hmm. Now, how far is it? Tower Hamlets. Hmm. Oh. Travel to Beef Eater Burger. Well. Perhaps we get a night's sleep. It is 3.48am. And I am exceptionally tired. Plus, Lazarus's bed is free. So we could... We could... Get our head down there, which might be the best option. Churchill, come along. Come on. Oh. Of course. Of course. Of course. All right. Well. Guess it's going to be a wet and rainy walk. Well, what a miserable day. The gherkin, ah. Well, I mean, not exactly. I don't really fancy climbing to the top of a metal structure during a um, thunderstorm, Churchill. Something just doesn't seem quite, um, quite wise about that. So, let us just proceed. Huh? What? Whoa. Churchill. Oh, God, there's a lot of them. There is a lot of them. Churchill, this way, this way, this way. Come on. Let's go. We can go a different route. Save getting ourselves into any kind of trouble. Come on. This way. Mm. Fenchurch Street. Another station. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. We just need to be quite careful, I think. I fear if we're not Churchill, we will land ourselves in very hot water. And I don't really feel like taking a bath in very hot water today. Oh! Ow! That was a little bit of a waste, but never mind. Where's my... Where's my... Churchill. Okay. Wretched creatures. Well, have we actually? L we have learnt a little something. Hmm. Right. Well, let's see. Could possibly do with some more strength, I think. Hmm. Iron fist. Armorer. Blacksmith. Lead belly, oh my. Scrapper, hmm. Well, it's not want much. You can salvage uncommon components like screws, aluminium and copper when scrapping weapons and armour. Hmm. Maybe blacksmith would be quite good. I think we could do with upgrading some of our weaponry, could we not? Yes. Our toughness. We could do with some more toughness, but... Could 
do with some strength as well, I think. Hmm. Yes. Let's make ourselves a little tougher. Need to be a little tougher, Churchill. This is a big bad world. And we're currently stuck in it. We're stuck in here. Bloody bloody don't know. I have to go around. Come along, Churchill. Let's whoa, be careful. Just oh crumbs. Um Seeing anyone? I get the feeling that it's Jack the Ripper Museum. Oh, now that might be quite interesting. Is this? Is this the museum? Jack the Ripper Museum. Hmm. I mean, it is raining. Maybe we could have a quick peep. All right. Um. Hmm. Well, all right. Let's just make sure we're fully loaded. Right, Churchill. We're just gonna have to be a little careful here. Oh, dark secrets of Whitechapel. Hmm. Inspectors and super sleuths, welcome to the Jack oh. the Ripper Dark Secrets of Whitechapel Holiday Tape Tour. I'm your guide, and I'll be taking you on a chilling journey through one of history's most infamous unsolved mysteries. Mm. Our story begins in the year 1888, in the grimy, gaslit streets of London's East End, the district of Whitechapel. It was a time of poverty, overcrowding and social unrest. In the autumn of that year, oh. terror gripped the heart of Whitechapel, as a series of gruesome murders began to unfold, the victims, all women, were brutally mutilated and left in horrifying states. Good God. The unknown killer, uh, oh. who would later become known oh, oh, oh. as Jack the Ripper, operated with a chilling efficiency, seemingly vanishing into the night after each grisly act. Despite the efforts of the London Metropolitan Police, the true Sitting identity of Jack the Ripper has remained one of history's mm, most Puma. enduring mysteries. The killer's letters taunted investigators, adding to the intrigue. Is there anything else here? Countless theories and suspects have been proposed over the years, from surgeons to artists, nobles to commoners. Oh. Yet, Sorry. Jack's true identity remains elusive. As we journey through Whitechapel's cobblestone streets, we'll visit the sites of the infamous murders. The places where terror once reigned. Step carefully as we delve into the shadowy alleyways where Jack's victims met their gruesome fates. Hmm. Feel the weight of history as we explore the twisted alleys and dark corners that once served as the backdrop of this terrifying tale. In the end, the mystery of Jack the Ripper endures. Foggy. A haunting reminder of the darkness that can lurk beneath the surface of any city. We may never uncover the truth, but we can remember the victims and the chilling legacy of this enigmatic figure. Thank you for your attention and joining us on this journey into the art of one of London's greatest mysteries. Remember, as we explore these Danger. dark corners of the past, I won't be we honour the memory of those who walked these streets long ago. All right, that's not exactly what. Did you fall or something? No. Um. Well, this is troubling, Churchill. This is very troubling. Um. Yes, a lot of death and a lot of bodies and a lot of mess. I don't think that was once a mannequin. Something is just telling me that that was probably not once a mannequin. Hmm. So, 
Oh, just a wall. Can't go through there. Hmm. Churchill. Easy. Ah. Oh. Well. Guess we should go up then. See what's up here. Oh, how delightful. Ooh, mannequins. Ooh, mannequins. I know, I know it's creepy as all, as all hell, but, no. Anyone in? Hello? Cafeteria tray, I'd rather not. Tickets, please. Okay. Scared myself. I hope that's a mannequin. Do. I think it's a mannequin. Another way up. Yeah. All right, mate. Um. That's not creepy at all, is it? Um, well... Okay, oops. I, yeah. Well, never mind. It's a mannequin, who cares? So... What the hell? Okay. Well... So far, Churchill, it's creepy, but not um Ooh, not too bad. Oh blast it. Hmm. Oh Not too much maybe. Ha ha, we're in. Tickets. That's really all that was in there? Good luck. Why is there a skull? Why is there a skull? Let me guess, are we going to have some kind of weird, like, weird copycat killer type thing going on here? Okay, that's... that's the exit out. Okay. Um, skeletons, Metropolitan Police. Okay. Tickets. Um, I don't think this is part of the display, Churchill. Um, I feel a little creeped out. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, bloody hell. Let's um let's take a look, shall we, Churchill? I I don't know how I feel about this. Is this a wise idea? Churchill? Oh, God, bloody hell, dog. What are you doing? Right. Ugh. Go there. What? Whoa. Come on. Is this your way of telling me to take the stairs? Potentially. All right, let's, let's, let's just... Have a little nosy up here. Let's see what we can find. <sighs> okay, we 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 might find death. 
we might find life, we might find... <sighs> we might find bloody midden lurks, who knows? Okay, this is somebody's perch, by the looks of it. So, radio doesn't work. Um, what's this? London crime statistics. You've collected an issue of London crime statistics. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do plus five percent damage. Well, wonderful. Um, but why? Might as well take the lift to get down, Churchill. Why not, eh? I don't know. It just seems, um... Seems peculiar, does it not? Oh... Okay, who are those people? Fifth Column Unionist. I don't think we need to get involved with them. I think we can just we can just we can just go around. I'm not interested in being murdered. And from what I gather they aren't the friendliest of sorts. Good god. Bloody weather. Look at this, it's ridiculous. Soaked to the bone. He's round here, is he? Hmm. Churchill, come along. All right. Are they? Are you? Hello? Hello? Can I pass through here? Huh. Oh god, no, no. I just, um, yeah. Hello, sir. Okay, um, St. George. Uh, hello? Shadwell Fire Station. Um, they don't seem too bothered. Oh no! Oh dear. Well, that's no good. Um, no one goes there. Not a soul. Not a soul. Come on, Churchill. So he's through here. Feels very off. Mm. Okay. Oh. All right. I'm hearing. I'm hearing. Oh God. I'm hearing a lot of gunfire. Oh God! Don't mind me. Um, it's not me. I'm just. Passing through. Just trying to get to speak to... Aha, here we go. A uh, gentleman called Lazarus. The oh! The rain's stopping. Cool, how do I get in here? Churchill, come on! Come on, let's go! Aha! Aha! 
Well, okay, Nuka Cola glass, iron brew. Um, anything back here, red plates, no, mushy peas and gin, crispy squirrel bits. Might take those actually. Kids' meal, I have enough kids' meals. Good lord. Hmm. Hmm. Well, peace in our time. Hmm. Did he come and eat a meal or something? Sack. Ticket floater meat. What is a floater? No. No. <gasps> Verbal agreement. I'm recording now, friends. Would you like to introduce yourselves? Get that thing off my face. All right, I'll do it. My name is Lazarus. I am here with some gentlemen. From the syndicate. We're all friends here. Why are you recording this again? We told you, if you want to get paid, we've got to go to Winter Garden in the Isle of Dogs. That's where we do business. Never underestimate the power of good documentation. Now, regarding the insider information I told you about, the labs? Oh. Yes. I'm prepared to divulge their locations. Even provide you fine gentlemen with blueprints of each laboratory. All of it contingent on a verbal agreement to be recorded in this holotape. I give you the information, and you give me tickets. Lots of them. Are we in agreement, gentlemen? Mm. Uh, gentlemen, please, speak loudly for the microphone. Do not hold back your words. All right, here's what we're thinking. Why in the world would I pay a nutter ghoul for information? I assure you, sir, I am no nutter. Then how do you know about all this? Do we have a verbal agreement, sir? The microphone, gentlemen. The microphone! All right. Let me say this real loud for your microphones. Now, either you're playing us for fools, or you've got valuable information. Either way, I don't see why we should pay you when we could just wring that information out of your throat. Oh, God. Was that loud enough for you, sir? <laughs> gentlemen. Please, you're making a mistake. Oh, God. Get up. Oh. We're taking a trip to Winter Garden. Just me, you, my mates, and this pistol, of course. Please, don't hurt me. I said, get up. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's kind of bad news bears, isn't it? I fear that Mr. Lazarus is um, in a bad way, Churchill. So how far is Winter Garden? Right near Canada Square. Hmm... Well, guess we better start walking, Churchill. <laughs>